Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Considering how the day goes, or if I'm tired or not, I might take down the Christmas decorations in the tree. Yes, it's still up. Mm-hmm. But like I said, depending on how long I take out here today and how I feel, you know, I'm not too tired. Making a thousand excuses. Knowing I don't want to take it down. But uh, yeah, I do have to take it down. So maybe today, let's see. Hanging out in the streets doesn't get you very far. And it doesn't get you very far and doesn't land you any place where you think you'd end up at a young age. Why do they always put alcohol bottles? I don't understand that. I never did understand that. Life expectancy here in the city is not that long. Oh, rest in peace to all the deceased and dearly departed. It's a shame. But this is what the hanging out in the streets leads to. Sometimes, <laughs> when you're at home, depending on the person you're with and the situation you're, you're in. Nothing good ever comes out of hanging out in the streets. Or sometimes you're not hanging out in the streets. It depends on the situation you're in. Because it could be a domestic thing. You being in a relationship with the wrong person. Or you're in a relationship and you're doing the wrong things. And anything can happen. It's sad but true. You know how many of those rest in peace memorial things I ran into it and they were females. I lost count at seven. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. It's sad. But anyways, I'm trying to get home quickly because it's going to snow. So. <laughs> yeah, ooh. It's hard to believe though because it's so sunny. But it's kind of chilly. I don't know if you can notice against this car, but yeah. It's snowing. You see the flurries? <laughs> uh, Okie dokie. Well, we're here. Now let's see what happens when I go upstairs. Now, I did say that I might take down the decorations in the Christmas tree when I go upstairs. So far, so good on that. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Let's see how it goes. But more yes than not. Yeah, put everything away. Can't keep procrastinating, right? So let's go upstairs and do this. Alrighty then. This is <laughs> a clip from a previous video. It's titled Christmas Decor 2020. And I sped it up. It's just to remind you if you guys did see that video of what it looked like the Christmas decor that is when it was up and yeah, it takes me a long time to take down the Christmas decor I've always had that problem because I, I love Christmas I love the meaning of it um yeah and for those of you who don't know I am Puerto Rican and I do celebrate Three Kings Day Dia de los Reyes Magos. And that's from Christmas and it ends on January 16th. But usually, uh, yeah, as you can see, I leave my tree up much longer than that. Tree decorations, everything, yeah. <laughs> I just love the meaning of Christmas. I, I love it. Just like I love the meaning of Easter. Like, it doesn't mean bunnies and chicks to me. It means so much more. Anyways, um, yeah, I took everything down. And, um, yeah, it's 
took me a long time to do it too. <laughs> so we went from that to this. Okay, when you first walk in, this is what you will see on the right hand side of the wall. And I just put that there. That's why I had the that frame. Nothing's changed here. Oh yeah. Here. That's where the snowman head was. I did a little rearranging. Somewhat. Hold on. Okay, much better. Had these for years. The Dollar Tree. Two more down here. And I, <laughs> this is where that little white tree was that I got from Dollar Tree. There were some a few spring flowers in there. <laughs> and this is in there temporarily. It's old candy. And the candy canes were on the tree. I put them there for now. And there we go. He got me these frames a few years back, Valentine's Day. So that's one. And here's the other. It's <laughs> a frame I got from the grandkids a few years back. Okay. I finally took the tree down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all the Christmas decorations that were here. And I'm starting to sprinkle in a little Valentine stuff here and there. Slowly. Slowly. But surely. Slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and this is what the middle table is looking like now. I have how many tea lights? One, two, three, four, five, six tea lights. And um, this is two bags or three of the table scatter. The plastic hearts, the red, and I believe two of the pink. And I forget where I get these from. And these. And these beads. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. This was from my daughter years ago. This one's glass. Came in um, a plant inside of a pot. So, yeah, that's what that's looking like. As I said, slowly but surely. Well, friends, that's what I have as far as Valentine's decor so far. Um, if I make any changes, um, I'll let you guys know. I do have a few ideas that I have in mind to share with you guys. But yeah, so far this is what I have. And um, I'd love to see your decor. Your Valentine's Day decor. It's good to get ideas. <laughs> I, I miss the Christmas decor. Come on, really, I do. The Christmas decor makes me so happy. I just love having it there, just just to see it, you know. But I have it in my heart, so that's more important. The love of Jesus Christ and our good Lord. Yeah, it lives in my heart. It's just things that I symbolize, things that I love, that I love having around. But yeah, nothing beats you having it in your heart, right? Exactly. So, with that being said, <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching. I do hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you do, let me know because I do subscribe back. 
hit the notification bell. And yeah, let's be friends. Let's support each other. Yeah, let me know if you subscribe so I can subscribe back. Okay? We can show each other love and support. There's a lot we can do to help each other out. And yeah, with all the bad that's going on in the world, let's, let's do good. So, till next time, God willing, may you all continue to stay blessed, beautiful, and ciao.